Next, I want to discuss the difference between the two-way and the three-way cash transfers. In order to understand the difference between the two-way and the three-way, we need to recognize that there are three pieces of information that an, a block will have in an Oracle Rack database environment. First, every block is a resource. And just like every resource in Oracle Rack, one instance is charged with being the master of that resource. There can also be an instance that holds the most recent block. And then there can be an instance that is requesting that block of data. So the three things are the resource master of the block, the holder of the block, and the requester of the block. Now to understand this, I'm going to bring back my diagram featuring my two instances here. And let's assume that Jack is the holder of the block as we've seen so far in our demonstration. And Jill is then the requester of the block. Well, one of these instances must be the master of the block as well. The master of that resource. It doesn't matter which instance is the master and it doesn't necessarily have to be the instance that's holding the block. The instance Jill is connected to could very well be the master of the block. Or it could be Jack's instance. We don't know. And it really doesn't matter. But in this case, only two instances are involved. Some combination of the resource master, the holder of the block, and the requester of the block are all involved in these two instances. Therefore, any cash fusion transfer is called a two-way global cash transfer. So what about the three-way global cash transfers? Well, remember, there is a resource master, the holder of the block, and the requester of the block. If there are three or more instances in the Oracle Rack database environment, then it is possible for the resource master to be on an instance that is not shared with either the holder or the requester. In fact, the more instances in the Oracle Rack databases, the more likely it will be that the resource master is not with the holder or the requester at all. In that case, we will see a three-way global cache transfer. There will never be more than the three-way global cache transfer. You will not have a four-way or a five-way, even if you have four or five instances for your Oracle Rack database. This is because we are only concerned with just the resource master, the holder, and the requester. And you cannot split those three functions over more than three instances. So let's look at some of the wait event names. I can look in V$ event name and here I can see global cash transfer weight events. 